Thank you for that, Frankie. As more reopens, more people venturing outside with the beautiful weather, Canada's top doctor now recommending face masks as an added layer of protection, especially when physical distancing is difficult. If you can't predict whether you can maintain that two meter distance, then it's recommended uh, that you wear the non-medical mask or facial covering. Thinking of it as I'm protecting you and you're protecting me is a very key concept. Dr. Teresa Tam stressing that while masks don't necessarily protect the wearer, it protects others if you are sick and you don't know it yet. Also important to keep in mind that masks do not replace distancing or other health measures and cloth masks need to be washed regularly. A lot to break down here. So for more, I'm joined by family physician Dr. Jennifer Kwan. Uh, thank you for joining us, doctor. And I know you've been very vocal online about the use of masks. So I want to get your take on if you think the federal recommendations are enough or should they be mandatory? I think it's great that the tone has shifted first from like not recommending masks to suggesting masks to now strongly recommending masks. Um, I think it's hopeful that um, Canadians will be listening to this message and will be wearing face masks when we're uh, going outside to the grocery store or um, to the pharmacy. I think that officials may be waiting to see how many people are going to be doing this and if that will be enough to control the outbreak and to make sure the numbers are not getting worse as we reopen. Um, certainly, if things get worse, then there may be um, more stricter measures, such as uh, mandating this measure. Talking to, and just anecdotally, anecdotally rather, talking to a number of people, there is some confusion. When to wear them? when not to wear them. Uh, I've seen people wearing masks while sitting solo in their cars. Let's break, break down a little bit on when you really do need to have them on and what type of masks are efficient. So for the general public, uh, cloth masks are recommended. Um, you don't really need N95s or surgical masks. Those are best for uh, medical professionals in healthcare settings. For um, the general public, uh, an easy way to remember when to wear a mask is ACT, A-C-T. So A would be all indoor places um, in the public, like schools, businesses, um, shops, things like that. Uh, C would be crowded places, anywhere where you cannot distance two meters away from others. And T would be transit, including public transportation. That's a really good way to remember that. ACT, A-C-T. We'll make sure we tweet that later. I think what, what is going to be surprising for a lot of people is uh, those the numbers when it comes to asymptomatic people. Uh, when I was reading the numbers, so it's what anywhere between 25 to 50 percent may be asymptomatic, meaning you're not necessarily showing the symptoms. So when we're wearing the masks, you are just protecting others from potentially getting something that you may have that you have no idea about. Do you think people aren't aware of that figure and, and how drastic it can be, the, the measures that we need to take in order to not spread if you, if you aren't showing any type of issues? I, I think people downplay that a lot. Yeah, it's a really important point you brought up. So um, about half or maybe even more of infections um, are caused by people who may not be showing symptoms yet or may not be showing symptoms ever. So they are the pre-symptomatic or um, asymptomatic uh, carriers of the virus. Um, so because we cannot figure out who has this because we're not testing every single person. The face masks actually help uh, catch the droplets around everyone's mouth. So if we are acting like every single person may be uh, potentially infected. That way we are protecting one another. And you heard from Dr. Tan saying, my mask protects you, your mask protects me. So if we work in tandem like that, then we are all protecting one another. It's a really great way to see that as well as ACT, which I think is going to be sticking in my head and many others. Um, do you think that more can be done here when it comes to protection? We, we have to remember that masks can't be just masks alone. We have to continue to practice these other measures. Are there any other recommendations that you see should be put forward? Um, so absolutely everyone should still uh, wash their hands and maintain uh, partial distancing. Um, the masks are not a replacement for those things. It's kind of an additional um, supportive layer of protection. Um, I would like to see grocery stores and um, other businesses um, maybe implement more mask policies. Obviously, exceptions have to be made for people who cannot wear masks or have a disability or young children um, under the age of two um, or so. But then um, it would be great if the business 
businesses can also get involved in protecting their staff and customers and if available to provide masks uh, to their shoppers also. Yeah, I think that's important. I think a lot of people maybe um, don't have them and they and or, or or don't go to a certain place because they don't have the mask. But if it's provided to them, there are no excuses. Really great tips here. Dr. Jennifer Kwan, we appreciate you taking the time for us this morning. Thank you. Thank you. 810 is your time right now. Devo, act. Act. We'll remember that.